Hey guys, so don't know if you can tell, we had a little bit more rain uh, earlier this morning. Now you can tell right here the patio is all wet. This table was all full of water, so I just basically just dumped all that water off into that flower pot. So uh, for uh, this video, we're going to do a video on how to uh, replace a starter rope on a lawn mower. So I'm going to replace the starter rope here on the Craftsman mower because I'm kind of noticing, yeah, right along here the rope is starting to starting to get frayed a little bit, but everywhere else on the rope is not too bad. Since even though this mower is nine years old, I thought I'd go ahead and just replace it anyways. Even though with this mower being hard starting, I've always have worried about this rope actually breaking. So, uh, so I just went to Home Depot, got me some uh, rope right here, and of course it has a starter handle, which I'm not going to use this starter handle. I'm going to still use the. Uh, the original Honda uh, starter handle. I guess I could just save this starter handle for the uh, Lawn Boy 8461. All right, so uh, let me get all my tools out, and we'll uh, and we'll get get busy here. All right, so the first thing, first things first, just disconnect the spark plug wire from the spark plug, just so the mower will not accidentally start. No matter what kind of work that you're doing on your lawnmower. Next thing we got to do is take the recoil off of the engine and it's held on by one, two, three uh, nuts. So we will need a, a 10 millimeter socket to get those off. Alright, so let's uh, start taking the, uh, the recoil cover off of the lawnmower. Just get these nuts off with using a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, let's loosen them up enough where we can just get them off by hand. Alright, and we just simply just pull it right off of the lawn mower. Alright, so next we got to loosen up this nut to help loosen up the rope guide here with can all right, just loosen it a little bit so that way we can be able to get the rope right off the guide. Don't have to take the nut off all the way. Let's see if I can maybe do this one-handed. Yep, it's off. So now we got our recoil completely off the lawn mower. So this is all we got left on the mower. So we don't need to take off anything else. All right. So now we got the recoil off. So best thing to do, try and pull this whole thing out. Pull it out all all the way. Then I'll take a screwdriver, try and stop it somewhere. Just to help prevent the whole thing from turning. So there we go. So now grab the needle nose pliers right here on the end of the rope just to try and get the rope out and as you can tell right here got another piece right here that's kind of looking that's a bit frayed right here I know it's kind of hard to see yeah there you go just pull that out also while we're also at it we'll try and reach the knot right here to try and pull it out from the from the starter handle if we can. 
Oh, there we go. Cool. So uh, I'll get all this off and we'll uh, insert the new rope in. All right, so I got the both of the ropes right next to one another just to measure them. The new rope is just a tad longer. Well, the reason why is just because uh, both of the ends of the old rope, I had to cut them because I couldn't get the, the the knots undone because they are on there really good, which is actually a good thing. you got to have them tied on there really well. Also, a good thing is when I got the rope out of the out of the package. Well, let me put my camera in macro so you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, here you go. So one thing that I don't really have to do, but it's always important that you do, is heat up the ends of the rope. Heat it up with a little stick lighter or a match and then kind of roll it up like this. That will prevent the rope from uh, fraying. Looks like in this case I don't really have to. They're already uh, done. So that's good. So now, just in a matter of just putting the, getting the new rope in the lot, in the mower, these ropes are pretty much are the same. The thickness of them are exactly the same. Usually the most common size uh, starter rope for most lawn mowers is four and a half, I believe. So without further ado, we'll uh, let's we'll get this uh, put on. All right. So what we're going to do is put one end of the rope here onto the recoil, and we got to try to get it down and through this hole right here. And I think there's another hole. We have to try and fish it right down through there. It might take a little while try and get it in there as we can but uh, I'll I'll get back to y'all till once I get the rope through this hole done got it in I decided to get it in through uh, this way makes it a lot easier this way uh, you want to make sure that you don't use a rope that's any uh, thicker uh, than this because otherwise it won't be able to uh, the whole thing will not rewind all the way in so I'll just kind of get this in a little bit and then I'll tie my little knot right here and then now we'll insert and then we'll put this end onto the handle and then we'll tie its knot and then uh, I'll do that just once after you tie your knot make sure you pull really really tight just as tight as you can because you want to just almost impossible where it will not untie itself. And then we'll just try and just have it pulled all the way in there. Just try and pull try and tuck this the tail end of the rope all the way in there. All right, so that's in there. It doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. So now, all right. So now I will insert the uh, other end of the rope onto the handle. All right. So I'm going to still use the original uh, uh, Honda uh, starter handle. It's in pretty good shape, only except for just a little kind of broke along here but it's not too bad alright so we'll insert the rope in just like that and then we'll tie its little knot just like so it's okay to leave just a little bit of a little tail end on it and then once you make your knot, just pull real tight. And I think I left the tail end of the rope a little bit too long. But you want the knots to be really nice and tight. And 
You can just insert it right down in there. Just like that. Yeah, all right, I think I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Cool. All right, so now I'll uh, I'll release the screwdriver and then we'll insert it back onto the mower. All right, it's coming in and out, not too pretty, coming out pretty good. So as you can tell here, the the whole entire rope is not quite all the way in, but that's okay. That doesn't really matter for a for a lawnmower. Even though on these, they'll come out about maybe this far, a little bit, almost about this far, but that's no big deal. So uh, now let's uh, get this back onto the uh, mower. All right, so now we'll just get the recoil cover back onto the mower. nuts back on, just hand tighten them. Alright. And I'll just use the the nut driver put the 10 millimeter socket on it just to tighten these. Want to get these fairly tight though because otherwise these uh, nuts can come loose from the vibration of the lawnmower. So you want to make sure they are fairly tight. All right. Don't over tighten them because otherwise you could easily strip the threads. All right. All right. So now let's get the rope right back up onto its uh, rope guide, just like that. Cool. And now we'll just tighten up the rope guide. done now. So the Crafton Motor's got a new starter rope on it. It actually looks pretty good. Cool. So I guess I'll uh, try it out. Maybe do a cold start on it. And we'll do that. Alright, so I've already have uh, pre-primed it. So let's see if it starts. We'll put our spark plug boot back in. All right. Cool. <laughs> I didn't realize this got underneath the mower. That's kind of funny. Oh yeah, she pulls over really good now. Looks a lot better now with the with a brand new rope on it. 
So that should probably last me another 10 years or so. So that's how you uh, replace a starter rope on a lawnmower. This will go for any brand of lawnmowers. Doesn't matter what kind of motor, either a Honda, Tecumseh, Briggs and Stratton's, or Kohler's, and whatnot. Not too bad. Not too hard. So, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. So, thanks for watching.